Hi, my name is Matthew Pekovich of Matt's Movie Reviews, and this is 40 Films in 40 Days, where I will review 40 Christian movies of very make and genre during this Lenten season of 2020. On day 20 of 40 Films in 40 Days, I will review The Blues Brothers, directed by John Landis. The Blues Brothers is a movie about a quest, divinely inspired and with a charitable heart. The Crusaders in this quest are an unlikely duo, which makes sense since The Blues Brothers is an unlikely religious movie. The film follows the exploits of two brothers from Chicago, Elwood, played by Dan Aykroyd, and Jake, played by John Belushi. The pair are petty criminals who wear matching black suits and love classic rhythm and blues to such a degree that they have their own band in which they are both lead vocalists. The pair are also Catholics, even though how much they practice their religion is in question. When Jake completes his prison term for armed robbery, both he and Elwood are saddened to learn that their Catholic orphanage, in which they were raised by the intimidating sister Mary Stigmata, played by Kathleen Freeman, is set to be demolished unless an exorbitant tax bill is paid. Quickly, the brothers are tasked with a mission from God, when the Almighty himself gives it his divine blessing and a clear instruction, get the band back together. What follows next is a series of misadventures and musical numbers, as the Blues brothers make their way to a large concert where the proceeds will save the orphanage. Along the way, the brothers make a number of enemies, ranging from Illinois Nazis, a vengeful country and western band, and every law enforcement officer in the Illinois area. Musical performances are featured from the likes of James Brown, Ray Charles, and Aretha Franklin, resulting in one of the best jukebox soundtracks of all time. Landis blends the film's diverse elements, musical, comedy, and action-adventure, to make for a unique and non-stop entertaining multi-genre showcase. Both Aykroyd and Belushi are fantastic, turning a Saturday Night Live sketch into iconic movie characters. While the Blues Brothers themselves are hardly virtues of purity, there is no denying that the Saints of Chicago are men of good intent, willing to risk life and freedom to rescue a holy place of charity. Divine intervention sees them survive all matter of explosion, gun violence, and car crashes of Armageddon proportions, while a good heart sees the pair plough through all matter of obstacle in order to accomplish their God-given quest. It all results in a film that is incredibly unique in approach, execution, and spirit, an entertaining and fascinating fantastical tale of two men of soul and passion willing to go where the good Lord leads them to be. The Blues Brothers is indeed a one-of-a-kind film, a film about devotion, sacrifice, and redemption, as well as some sweet, toe-tapping, soul-stirring blues.